Fry and Torrey. All right, so it's catching uh, Mike Henneman here. And, uh, yeah, he was effectively wild. You never quite knew he crossed me up there. You never quite knew uh, what he was going to throw you. It was either going to be... <laughs> Pitch down the middle, or he was effectively wild. That was, you know, I mean, he he admitted that. I mean, he used to always say, "Here's are stupid." You know, I'm not going to throw a strike, is what he'd always say. You know, they just, if they saw a fastball, they just swing. So here's Lou Whitaker, Hall of Famer, and then you got. Our friend Daryl Evans is our friend Daryl Evans. All right, he's Big D. Boy, he could hit. At this point, he was 40 years old. He could mash. He had a great eye too, man. We had Kurt Gibson. Kurt Gibson was a prolific player. You know, think of uh, uh, Bryce Harper, but way bigger. And he, when he ran, it sounded like a train. It was loud. I mean, this guy was huge. And he ran well. It was amazing. And then we got a Hall of Fame, Alan Trammell. He could hit, man. Alan Trammell was awesome. That year, I think he hit 343. This is our Bly Levin again, believe it or not. Now it's Noakes who was robbed on the great play by Gagne to end the first. You just saw how much, how a little bit easier it is for a four-hitter to hit with a man in scoring position and nobody out. That's right down the middle. A veteran team doesn't change in situations where they're down three to one. They're in the series. Down four to nothing in the game. Again, they just keep plodding along, keep doing the same things they did for 162. In the that was before. actually hittable too, even though that was a ball down. Opportunities to jump back in it, and it's Bly Levin's job. It was an outstanding pitcher to shut him down again, and he is completely. I can't believe that. I let the previous one go, but it's a good thing that I did. And just as the Tigers string two hits together, the sun pokes out over Detroit. The same pitch, but he got it up a little bit. The same pitch, same location, he just got it up. And that's I like that pitch. Up up just a little bit. Thigh high, you know. Not waist high, but right at the mid thigh. That that was my pitch. Out of the plate or inside, really, anything. Thigh high, I liked it. This was game five of the ALCS. Just like that, it's four to three. And the pitch Matt Noak said appeared to be that pitch we talked about in Blind at his last outing, the transition pitch from a power pitcher, high ball, fastball. So there's that pitch. See how I'm leaning on it out of the plate, hold my posture, watch crossing the face. Now watch the release. Release. My foot's coming up right at release. And crossing my face. Hold the posture. All that stuff. All the touchdowns. 